Let's get started by importing the game assets that you'll need for this tutorial. So from where you've downloaded them from, with the link that was provided, just drag the assets into the top of the folder structure in Unity. We've also started with a terrain here. You should know how to make a terrain. If you don't, then you'll need to go to uh, one of the previous videos about how to use Unity, Unity Basics. I'm also going to put on a first person controller. Not a rigid body, it needs to be a first person controller. And we're going to focus in on him. So the first thing is we're going to get him shooting. For him to shoot, we need to have a gun object on him or where the projectiles will come out. So under first person character, we're going to create an empty object and that empty game object is going to be called the gun object. If I double click and rotate around, I can move that empty object just a little bit in front of the first person controller. This first person controller, or this gun object is going to have the shoot script on it. And we are going to have to set some variables here for this shoot script. So the scored means uh, that's just um, a variable named for the sound that happens when you click or when you shoot this gun. So we would put gun shoot into there. The ammo text we haven't um, set up yet. So we can do that next. That is going to be a UI element, it's going to be text, it's going to be under this canvas element. So this is going to be our ammo text. So this ammo text, or we can see where it's going to be viewed on the screen, it's sort of layered over the top if I click on game. It's layered here. Then in scene view we can position it by going to 2D mode and double clicking on the um, element, the canvas element, the text element, and zooming out. And this is basically the screen. So if I put, I can now move this element to the top left, it will always appear up the top left. So if I go back to uh, scene view or game view, it will appear up here on the top left of my screen. You can also set it by clicking on here, holding down option, and clicking the top left and then positioning out some padding but you can do that by the way I just showed you that so then the text we can say that temporarily so we know what it is that's called the ammo this text will change dynamically as we shoot so going back to the gun our ammo text element is going to be this ammo text object so it knows where to write the um, ammunition to. So that should read 10. Let's play and see if that actually works. Yeah, 10. Cool. Okay. Next, we it was in the middle of the screen actually, so we need to make sure that that um, ammo text is going to be positioned. We'll use this, this thing instead this time. So we'll click, hold down Alt, click on the top left, then go to the X and Y position and just drag it out a bit to pat it out away from the edge so you can see it a bit better. There you go. Next thing is we need a projectile for um, to come out of the gun object. So we can just simply put in temporarily for this example. It can be any anything, but for this example I'll put a um, sphere. That sphere, I've got to go back to scene view. That sphere is in the middle of nowhere, but it doesn't matter because we're going to take it off the stage very shortly. I'm just going to make it smaller first. And then I'm actually going to drag it into, I'll make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to right click here first and create a new prefab. And this prefab is going to be called bullet. 
and inside of this prefab I'm going to drag this sphere and put it inside of there. Then I can actually delete this sphere from the stage because I don't want it to be hanging there. Before we can drag this bullet onto our into our gun script we've got to add one element it's got to be a rigid body so you can just search for it there and now our bullets are ready to go except uh, we'll do that later so on gun now we can set a projectile all we do is drag the bullet into here and this has gun will set to one temporarily so we can test if it actually works. The ammo is going down, but there's no shooting happening. So let's see why. Ah, we have an error down here that says no audio source. So also, this gun needs to have a speaker or an audio source for the sound to come out of. Now let's test it. There you go. So obviously those prefabs can be changed to whatever. We can also change the height and the speed of all that stuff, but basically we've got it working. And let's set this gun, has gun, back to zero because we're going to now make it so when you start the game, you can't shoot until you pick up the gun or pick up an object that is pretending to be the gun. So that'll be the next stage of this um, tutorial or video. So let's go and make a, another temporary object. Let's put in a cube and let's just put it over here and call it the gun pickup. In our script, we're going to have to put a new script on our first person controller. It's going to be this first person FPS script. So on our FPS controller, we're going to drag this FPS script onto him. And there's a lot of variables that we have to set here. And they're all to do with, uh, well, these ones are to do with ammo, note, and gun pickup sounds, audio clips, and also the game over music at the end. And an image that appears at the end of the game too, which we'll get to shortly. Um, we need to enable or need to figure out if this is going to work when we hover over this. So I'm going to open up this script and have a look at the line of code that I need to confirm on what this gun pickup object needs to be called. So here, the name of the object needs to be gun pickup and then it will set has gun to one, which means I can start shooting then and also play a sound when I pick up that gun. So let's set that actually. So when I pick up a gun, it's going to sound like this. So I'm gonna drag that to gun, uh, gun pickup. And I might as well set the rest of them while I'm here. Note pickup. Um, ammo, is this ammo pickup? Yep, ammo pickup. and game over music. So they're all set now. Let's go and see if it works. So I shouldn't be able to shoot yet until I collect the gun. And my ammo runs out too. So the next thing we'll probably do is create an ammo box to give us more ammo. Let's see that again. Shoot, no shoot, as soon as I touch it. It disappears and I can shoot. So that's working. That's That was the second stage. Next, we will do um, the picking up more ammo. So let's make another game, temporary game object. This, again, this can be anything. And we will put it over here. And this will be called our ammo picker. Now this one's going to be a little bit different because we're not going to pick up ammo or we'll use the name in our script. We are going to use a tag. Notice here name and then notice here tag. 
The reason for that is because we can't have, say I have multiple, if I go Command D, multiple ammo pickups, I can't, they can't be the same name. So I might have three ammo, possible ammo crates or ammo pickups, and they all have to be named the, same, the different things. But we can give them the same tag. So here in its inspector, we can add a tag like this and say ammo pickup or we just call it ammo. Save and if I go now back to the ammo pickup I can tag it as ammo and I can also tag by holding shift selecting multiple op um, objects give them all a tag for ammo. So now Let's see if it works, if the code is correct. See, I have 10 up the top left there. And I'll waste my ammo. Now I've got none, I can't shoot. If I pick that up, the sound should happen and I should get five extra. And again, and again. There you go, working perfectly. So they, there's the next stage of the ammo, ammo replenishing or ammo pickup, adding five to the variable of the ammo. The next stage would be collecting notes and that is to have the goal of finishing the game. So the objective of this game in particular is collecting objects and a certain amount of objects and then having a little splash screen saying the end which we've got an asset for here and then playing the end game music. So let's do that we are going to now put in some more temporary objects. Again, these can be whatever objects your, your uh, first person controller is collecting. So let's put in capsules. Um, these are going to be called notes, like in Slenderman. Um, there's going to be five, so I'm going to duplicate this five, four, four, another four times and just move these out of the way. So there's five. I'm also going to give them a tag because remember like the ammo pickup they can't all be the same name. So the only way to give them an ID or the same name is give them a new tag and we're going to call this tag notes or note. I'm going to select all of the notes, objects, by holding shift, and I'm going to tag them with note. So now our script says, if I hit an object and it's got a tag of note, add one to the note variable, um, get rid of it, make it disappear. Also play a sound of collecting a note, and then check if I've collected more than four, which is if I've collected five. Um, display the image, so enable the image, the game over image. Also pause the game, so if something's chasing you or something else is happening in the game, make everything stop. And also play the sound for the game over that I've set. So there's something that we have to do here. Let's, let's go back to our first person controller. We have to set the game over image. Now to do that, we have to add an element to our canvas. We can either right click here and say, create or add a UI image, or we can just go up to here from the usual menu. So we want a UI image, and that will add it here. I'm gonna call this game over. And in this, we can set, if we have a look at our game view, it's down the bottom left here, um, we, again, we can go and select that object and position it to the middle. So it always appears in the middle. Remember, we have to hold down Alt for these extra options to come. And then we can set this, the image source, but it needs to be a sprite. So this image here can be basically anything, but before we can drag it onto this to show, we need to click on it and we need to select Sprite and Single and then click Apply. Then we can go back to our Game Over 
canvas object element and then drag that new sprite image into here. And there it appears. And then we can also, if we want to um, edit it, we can go to 2D view and go to game over. Just double click and just make it bigger. And maybe try and fit the proportion of the original image. And I think you can just drag it and snap it to those middle lines there too. So now we have a game over object. Let's go back to our first person controller. I'm going to go back to 3D, 3D uh, perspective. I'm on the first person controller. I need to set that game over image to that image I just created. So I'm going to drag that into here. The notes text, let's add that while we're at it. So another text element, and that's going to be how many notes we've collected. So we can drag that also to here, the notes text but we're going to have to move that. So let's go back to our game view and see where this notes text actually went. We'll hold Alt again and go to the top left and then we'll position it manually like this again. So we'll come out a bit and the Y position will go below the ammo. So we've got two things there. And then we'll just rename it notes so we know um, what it is. So now we've set all those variables. When I collect those notes in the scene view out here, when I collect these notes, it should add one to the tally of the notes. These objects add five to my tally of ammo. And this square object allows me to shoot in the first place. So let's go see what happens and what errors, if there are any errors that we need to fix. I push play, I can't shoot yet, so I collect my gun and collect some more ammo. And here I see if we can, yeah, we can collect notes. And that noise should happen too. And then when I collected the last note, that screen should come up and the music should start playing. Uh, you can still shoot but the game has paused. We can, we can change that later, but basically this is the framework. This is the framework for your game, with the objective being you need to collect notes, and then after a certain amount of notes, trigger a message and maybe music. Also, you might have ammo, and you might have a gun or a weapon that you collect. And that's how you get it working using those uh, pre-made assets that I've uh, made available to you.